begin our night with a welterweight matchup between Dan the Outlaw Hardy and Nick Diaz. A well-rounded fighter who's just as dangerous with his hands as he is with his submissions, Nick Diaz is one of the most highly regarded and highly controversial mixed martial artists of all time. With a unique boxing style and a seemingly endless gas tank, he'll be looking to turn on the pressure and take home another victory in the octagon. Known for his speed and his highly technical striking skills, Dan Hardy is as dangerous as they come in a stand-up battle. And as he showed with his countless submission escapes during his battle against George St. Pierre, this is one fighter who refuses to quit. and he has this crowd fired up. Nick Diaz is extremely technical on the ground, but it's not that often that we see him take the fights there. He usually prefers to turn things into a boxing match. His punches, some of them don't look that hard, but they can knock you out. Nick Diaz, fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Dan Hardy is one of the most technical strikers in the 170 pound division. And if you saw his fight against GSP, you know he's very, very tough to submit. He's primarily known for his knockout power, so look for him to try to keep this fight standing and make a brawl out of it. Dan Hardy ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Tale of the Tick is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the O2 Arena in London, England. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, 12.1 stone. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz. And now, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, 12.1 stone. Fighting out of Nottingham, England. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC Walter Wright champion of the world, Dan the Outlaw Hardy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Nick Diaz, Dan Hardy. And here we go. Hi. Young British fighter Dan Hardy has exploded onto the UFC scene, and he's done it with some incredible striking, Joe. Yes, he has, Mike. He's got a great background in Muay Thai as well as a purple belt in 10th planet jiu-jitsu under Eddie Bravo. Swing and a miss. Good counter, though, Joe. He's got his back. Beautiful hook. 
both guys banging on the inside, Mike. We've seen a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes here, Mike. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged by a faster fighter coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. He's got his back here. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. Slips and counters. Oh, he got hurt. He's down. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. The crowd in favor of the outlaw, Dan Hardy. He decides to let him up. Nice double leg. Half guard, able to posture up. And back to full guard. Goes right into side control. Diaz is cut open here, Mike. He's got half guard. Our first round is in the books. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war, Joe. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. He's catching him. He's out wide. You can come up with the uppercut, okay? If you're going to go, you're going to go. Bop, 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 and hit it, okay? If you're, if you're not going to go, we're outside of his range. If you're inside of his range... Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that beautiful counterpunch. And you can see this punch here did some major damage. Some very impressive striking in that round, Mike. Ariani gets us set for round two. You ready, sir? You ready? Round two. Fight. Body shot. Working your angles. Oh man, Hardy is cut open bad now. Nice counter right hand. Both men exchanging. Quick hands. One six. Got to take down again. He's looking for mission control here. He's got it. Using the rubber guard. Side control. He ate that one. Half guard. Oh, reversal. Under three minutes now. Oh, he got reversed. Oh, he lets him up. Nice right hand. Step the outside, keep control. Make him reach it. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Oh, he got tagged with a hook. Fast hands, good battle inside. Don't do anything floppy. Keep angling, keep angling. Oh, looping hook there. Diaz is really starting to bleed now, Mike. One, two, let's go. Get inside. Short, Trying to find short, the range. That's all right. That's all right. Wow, that right hand. Back nice. and forth. 90 seconds remains in the second. Hardy is starting to gas here. Just over a minute remains. Nice counter. Just missed with that one. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Take your time. Nice and relaxed. 45 seconds. And now Wait, he's answered. He caught the kick. Big go right go, hand. Go, 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 go. Oh, to the midsection. Both men scoring points here. Oh, 
that's the end of round number two. Our Red. fighters will move to the third and final round. Great display of striking skills from both fighters in that round. Absolutely, Mike. It'll be interesting to see if they keep it on the feet in the third. Don't chase him. Use your range. A lot of turns. Be sharp with that. That'll work. Stop backing him up. Back him up. Off timing. Three, two, three, two. He's still looking for that uppercut, all right? Go give him that uppercut with the mouthpiece. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here was that spectacular counter attack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang! And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. You gonna go win this round? You got the fight! You win this round, you got the fight! The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. You ready, sir? You ready? Here we go, round three. Right. Combination, left, right. Oh, oh, beautiful combination. He's left hook, he's down. Oh. And That's it's it. over. It is all over. Wow, what a performance. Nick Diaz with the victory. Jumps all over him from this position and just starts dropping some serious punches from the top. He gets over him and just finishes the job. Look at it from this angle. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is victorious. A middleweight matchup between Chael Sonnen and one of the most lethal strikers in the world today, the Brazilian Anderson Silva. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. Anderson Silva, Chael Sonnen. And here we Let's go. Fight. There's times that we have seen Anderson Silva in the octagon where it really looks like he can do anything he wants to at any given time, and his opponent can't do anything about it. He's one of the most dominant guys in all of mixed martial arts, but one of the scariest things about him is that he managed to dominate really tough, high-level guys, and he makes them look inept. And back to full guard. He's got over under here from the back. Great job on the reversal. Pressure, pressure. Oh, he got reversed. He's inside control here. Oh. Okay, moves into the mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, wow! Looping hook there. The cage right there worked against the takedown attempt. Bam! Takes him right down. 
Work it now. In the full guard here. Reversal. Very nice. Wow, that right hand. Oh, mount. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. And mount again. Able to posture up from full mount. Two minutes remains in round number one. Oh, reversal. Side control. Oh! Half guard. He's in full guard here. Get your feet on his head. Back to side control. And Man. again! He loves throwing that punch. Oh, he gets reversed. Elbow. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice double leg. Pushes him off with the feet. 45 seconds remains. Oh, he's hurt! That one dropped him! I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. And oh, he answers. Nice right hand. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. And that's the end of round one. Joe, we saw that round mostly centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled, and both are looking to finish. He gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body off, you got to fight it off. You swim that arm. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long, OK? Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here was that nasty counter strike. Just so perfectly timed. Some good groundwork in that round, Mike. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on, the, on the cage, OK? Need some more? The beautiful Ariani. This is round two, and here we go. Off oh, spinning back kick. He won't go for it. Stand in the middle. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. A couple jabs. What an exchange here. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Little face, little face. And now he's answered. He's got the double. Good takedown defense. Both guys staying in tight. Anderson Silva switches to orthodox. Take your time, nice and relaxed. Back to southpaw for Silva. He's got double underhooks. Relentless takedowns here. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kabora. He's cranking it, Mike. Oh, man, that shoulder's going to pop. Oh, he escapes. Moves into half guard here, Mike. Oh, he got reversed. Two minutes remains in the second. Pushing his opponent away. Nice, nice. He ate that one. I want two more. He gets a clinch here. Get him back and up and make him pay. 90 seconds oh, remains in the second. Come on, have open, make your hands in the clinch. Come up on one minute, baby. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Working in the clinch, Red trying to control man. his opponent. That's oh, it, wow, the power of the takedown there. Big right hand. Swimming, drop the elbow. 30 seconds remains in the round. Feet on his head. We got 20 seconds. Side control. Silva keeps getting tagged on that cut. He is bleeding bad, Mike. Boom. Oh. 
Another big shot. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. And not hold back. Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick on. Control range. Finish with a kick. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. Now a look at that near submission that was let go. Didn't quite have it locked in. And here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Shandella. Okay, fighters. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the Let's third fight. and final round. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches are getting there first. Able to posture up. Oh, he got reversed. Passes to half guard. Full guard. And he gets reversed. He pushes him off of the feet. He decides to let him up. He caught the kick. And he's got it. And he's down. Pushing his opponent away. And he answers. What an exchange here. Under three minutes now. He's looking for that right hand, Mike. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. And now he's answered. Push kick. It looks like Sonnen is bleeding here, too. Nice counter. Oh, big kick. One, two, let's go. Ninety seconds remains in the fight. Come on, baby. One, two, nice right hand. Just over a minute remains. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. And down he goes. And he dives on him with this punch when he's down. Very nice. 45 seconds remains. Push your way, get back to your feet. Pass the hat. We can push some position here, bud. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Nice yeah, sprawl. Yeah, Good great. takedown defense. Nice job. Double leg. He's in the guard. Three rounds complete. This fight is over. We will head to the judges' scorecards. Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. The judges have rendered their decision. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 30, 27, 30, 27, and 30, 27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Anderson the Spider! Silva wins again.
It's a Bantamweight collision between Miguel Torres and Dominic Cruz. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. You ready, sir? Dominic Cruz, Miguel Torres. And here we Fight. go. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. Let's go, circle. We won't go forward. Good kicks, go. Good takedown defense. He shoots. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Use that shoulder. Drag your shoulder in a little. Good sprawl. Little face, little face. Hands up. Hands up. Jab, jab, jab. Use that jab. One, two. Let's go. Push forward. Push forward. Don't retreat. Torres is cut open here, Mike. Give him a little face. Face. Right hand behind it. Back up and then run and throw it. Double gas. Straight hook. Let's go. And the chance begin for Dominic Cruz. The cage right there worked against the takedown attempt. He's got the single. Stuffed. Now they clinch. Good takedown defense. Excellent takedown defense. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. It's a takedown. Great reversal. Oh, we got reversed. He passes to half. Oh, he gets reversed. Side control. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. And he gets reversed. Full mount. This is not good. Able to posture up from full mount. Oh, reversal. Great job on the reversal. And side control. Dominant position here, Joe. Postures up. Reversal. Very nice. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Oh, he got reversed. Push on the hip. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Nice right hand. Round one Great. is in the books. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Great, give me the deep thrust, man. You're looking good. Be there. Finish this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. He sets up, you get hands in his face fast. Fast. All right, hard hands in his face. Do not let him sit up. Listen. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. Right here, we see that tremendous counter shot land. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? We are set for the start of round number two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Wow! Oh, looping hook there. He misses, make him pay. Mixing things up nicely. He caught the leg. Joe, the big kick, and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. Pushes him off of the feet. Over the top. Oh, big shot. One six. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Great reversal. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, man. Torres is cut open bad now, Mike. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to there he goes, back Joe to mount, mount again. Wow, that right hand. Don't 
Big right hand. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Gets the takedown. All he needed was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And this fight ends up on the ground again. Oh, head kick. Got a takedown again. He's got side control. Into half guard. And back to full guard. Back to side control. Inside the guard, posturing up. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Nice right hand. 45 seconds remain. He gets a takedown. Good sprawl. He's in the full guard. And he's got he's side, side control. control. He's got half guard. Oh, he got reversed. And he gets reversed. Oh, reversal. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hey, look at the score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown. You score with your jab. Mix up your jabs a lot. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. And this is the vicious series of strikes. Just overwhelming. And here's that incredible throw. That is world-class technique right there. And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. Nice action there, Mike. You gotta fight your fight. You gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a bigger strong. The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Third and final fight. round. Relentless takedowns here. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. And now there's also a cut on Cruz. Cruz is really starting to bleed now, Mike. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, he got reversed. And the chanting switches to Miguel Torres. Relax here, you're fine. Relax here. Oh, he gets reversed. Great job on the reversal. He shoots him in. Make him pay. Good takedown defense. Nice left hook. Do oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice oh, Superman my. punch. And again. Hey, you got to throw your jabs, baby. Just over a minute remains. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Under a minute remains. Keep angling, keep angling. Don't chase it. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. Two, three, two. Superman punch. Nice leg kick. Close range here, Joe. Ah, oh, pulling guard. And 
the fight is over. over. Round three is complete. Joe, neither man embarrassed himself, but neither man really put on a show in that fight. It wasn't the best fight we've ever seen, but it was a good one. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And this was that nice counter. Just perfect movement here. Right here, we see that tremendous counter shot land. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Miguel Angel Torres. Miguel Torres is victorious. It's a lightweight fight between Melvin, the young assassin Galar, and Ultimate Fighter winner, Nate Diaz. A jiu-jitsu specialist and Ultimate Fighter winner, Nate Diaz has been the recipient of multiple Submission of the Night and Fight of the Night honors. Add durability and an improved boxing game to the equation, and this native of Stockton, California, is a handful for any opponent. Since UFC fans first saw him on season two of The Ultimate Fighter, Melvin Gillard has developed from a gifted wrestler into a complete mixed martial artist. With powerful striking to go along with his speed and athleticism, the young assassin now ranks among the very best in the sport. the world famous octagon once again. Nate Diaz is a very accomplished submission artist and he earned his way into the UFC by finishing all four of his fights in the Ultimate Fighter season five. Since then, he's put together some impressive victories and really improved his boxing. Nate Diaz, ready to throw down and put on a show. Making his way to the world famous octagon. Melvin Gillard has matured a lot as a fighter over the years. He's always been very athletic, but now he has the technique to go with it. He's become a truly dangerous striker with outstanding quickness and power. Melvin Gillard, fired up and ready to go. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone, fighting out of Stockton, California, Nate Diaz! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone, 
fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of New Orleans, Louisiana. Melvin, the young assassin, Gilad. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and we are ready to get this fight started. Fight? Nate are Diaz, Melvin Gillard. Round one Come is on, underway. Go. Joe, you know, another thing that's entertaining when you speak of Nate Diaz is he's got good boxing skills, and he likes to showcase those skills every time he steps into the octagon. Yeah, he does have good hands, utilizes his reach well, and he's got a great personality. One of the most entertaining fighters, loves to talk trash both before and during the fight. What an onslaught of attack here. Stopped. Push forward, push forward. Don't retreat. Nice combination. And now he's answered. Both guys staying in tight. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Push kick. Under three minutes now. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. And, left. He's, and got he's got down. the takedown. Oh, he got reversed. Great job on the reversal. Into the guard. He's working the rubber guard. Into half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five minute rounds. Body shot. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, good combination. Patience, patience, keep stepping the outside. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, and nice again. body shots. And oh, he's he answers. He caught the kick. Joe, the. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. He's pulling down in the head. He adjusts. It is all over. Very nice triangle. Man, Joe, that was textbook. Locked it in, pulled on the head, cut off the blood flow. Good night. As soon as he gets that foot locked underneath his knee, pulls down on that head, and his opponent is forced to tap or black out from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and he gets the tap. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz earns the victory. a featherweight collision between Eric Koch and Little Evil, Jens Pulver. Jens Little Evil Pulver is known to fight fans around the world for his vicious punching power. An accomplished wrestler and former UFC champion, 
He has the skills to keep the fight standing where he's never more than one punch away from a knockout finish. A tough as nails freestyle fighter, Eric Newbreed Coke is as equally impressive with his kickboxing as he is with his jiu-jitsu. He brings a wealth of talent to the featherweight division, and he'll be looking to showcase it all tonight. Jens Pulver making his way to the world famous octagon. Jens Pulver is a very experienced mixed martial artist and one of the more dangerous strikers in this weight class. He's got crazy power in his hands and some solid wrestling skills. Jens Pulver, ready to throw down and put on a show. set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Eric Koch trains to stand up with kickboxing legend Duke Rufus, so he's got very powerful, very technical striking skills. He's also extremely tough. He'll probably be looking to keep this on the feet and go for the knockout. Eric Koch, fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shave Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, 10.3 stone, fighting out of Napa, Idaho, Jens Lil Evil Over. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds, 10.3 stone, fighting out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Eric Newbreed Cole. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we are ready to start round one. Gentlemen, ready? Jens Falver, ready? Eric Koch. And we are underway. Jens Pulver, the first lightweight champion in UFC history, and he defended that title in 2002 against the prodigy BJ Penn. In a fight where a lot of people counted Jens Pulver out, a lot of people thought that BJ just was a little too much for him, but Jens held on to his title in a very close match. In the rematch, however, many years later, BJ Penn got the best of him and won by submission. Right hand. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Push kick. Oh, good counter. Nice body. He's hurt badly. He's down. He dives into the guard and punishes his opponent. He lets him up. Oh, big kick. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Just throw it. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, and punishing the midsection. He's got double underhooks here. Oh, nice left and a right. And he answers. Two minutes remains in round number one. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Inside with a clinch again. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. And 
He's got it. And he's down. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Boom! Just over a minute remains. Oh! And back to full guard. Under a minute remains. He's in the full guard here. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Final 30 seconds, non-title fight, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, big combination. Round one complete. Good pace in that round, Joe. Yeah, I don't know how the judges are going to score that one, Mike. So you've got to stay on balance. You've got to keep moving forward while you're punching. And you can't stop in one place. Okay? When you're done punching, you're... Sit down. Nothing, no. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Keep working, letting him go a little bit. Okay? We can't wait for him too long. Okay, but you're doing really All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here was that nasty counter strike. Just so perfectly timed. Some good striking in that round, Mike. Five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got to bring something behind it. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? Second round, Let's fight, fight. scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Nice right hand. Oh, nice uppercut. What an exchange here. Wow, looping hook there. Take your time, nice and relaxed. Make them reach it and make them pay. Just get close to reach. And now he's answered. Both guys staying in tight. Making cover, see what he's gonna do. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. And he answers. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. Body shot. Beautiful hook. Again teeing off. Left hook, he's down. Oh, that's big, Joe. He dove right into that. Side control. Nicely done. He ate that one. Trying to punish the midsection. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Goes right into side control. Great job on the reversal. Oh, he's got a triangle. And he's pulling on the back of the head, Joe. This is going to be tight. That is a very nice triangle here. It's over. Triangle choke. Victory tonight. Eric Koch with the victory. Take us through the execution and the finish. You see here, this is the end. I mean, that is just locked in. There's nowhere to go but to sleep or to tap. Look at it from this angle. With the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Eric Newbreed Cole. Eric Cole earns the victory.
up next, it's a lightweight fight between one of the best fighters in the world today, Sean Shirk and Charles Oliveira. An aggressive fighter who rarely leaves the outcome in the hands of the judges, Charles Oliveira is known for ending his fights early with both his fists and his submissions. An outstanding wrestler and physical specimen, Sean the Muscle Shark Shirk is one of the strongest and best conditioned athletes in this or any other division. A seasoned MMA veteran, he's equally dangerous looking for a submission as he is looking to land a knockout. set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Charles Oliveira has solid skills everywhere, Mike, and he is a finisher. Dangerous submissions, knockout power, and I don't think this fight is going to a decision. Charles Oliveira, ready to throw down and put on a show. Sean Shirk making his way to the world famous octagon. Sean Shirk might have the toughest training regimen in the sport. He is a cardio monster and I'm willing to bet the strongest man in the division. He's got elite level wrestling skills and a huge amount of experience in the cage. Sean Shirk fired up and ready to go. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Charles Dobrox Oliveira! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a submission wrestler. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone, fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota, the Muscle Shark, Sean Shark! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Gentlemen, ready? Charles Oliveira, ready? Sean Shirk. And here we Let's go. Fight. Joe Sean Shirk is a cardio machine, but with Joe the big kick and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. He's got side control. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Good takedown defense. Nice job, double leg. Good sprawl. Side control. Nice right hand. Nice right hand. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. And into side control. Big elbows and punches from the top. Into half guard. Joe, this is smart strategy right here, moving his opponent up against the cage, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to definitely impede his mobility. Oh! oh looping hook there. Relentless takedowns here. He decides to let him up. Oh, nice left and a right. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Fast 
Fast hands. Good battle inside. Big right hand. Two minutes remains in round number one. Push kick. Wow, that right hand. And he answers. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Oh, beautiful hook. He's got the double. Nice double leg. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. That one dropped him. He's hurt. He's hurt. Dot. Oh, man. This is nasty. He ate that one. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for... Oh, beautiful left hook. He's rocked. Oh, he's just teeing off on the ribcage. Oh, he recovers. Just missed with that one. Round one is complete. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. You gotta punish him back. Breathe. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one big shot. Wait till he sets his feet. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And this is that ground and pound, pure domination right there. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. You go jail blow, come back with the jab. Don't come back with the hook, he's leaning back. The beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Gentlemen, you ready? Ready? Set for round two. Let's this fight. fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Oh, big left hook. A oh, good counter. Swing and a miss. Both guys banging on the inside, Mike. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Keep angling, keep angling. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. There you go. Beautiful. Good sprawl. He's got the double. Nice sure, sprawl. Sure. Good takedown retreat. defense. And now he's answered. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Shirk is bleeding here, Mike. Oh, he's tagged again. What an exchange here. Oh, but he recovers. Three minutes remains in the second round. Oh, big right hand. He's down. He dives on him into the guard with that punch. Oh, beautiful hook. Fight is over. That is all it took. John Shirk with the victory. Let's see it again here, Mike. Sets him up and then just lands with all of his power. That was a brutal left hook. And here we see it again. Good night. Great angle here. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout, the muscle shot, Sean, Sean! Sean Shirk reigns supreme.
Coming up next, it is our co-main event of the evening. A light heavyweight showdown between Sokaju and Tevin, the Monster Randleman. Former UFC heavyweight title holder, Tevin, the Monster Randleman, is an athletic specimen. A fast and powerful wrestler with nearly unstoppable takedowns, he'll be looking to utilize his patented ground and pound to smash his way to victory tonight. An explosive striker, Sokaju can put an opponent away in just one punch. He also possesses Olympic caliber judo skills, making him an extremely dangerous opponent at any range. set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Kevin Randleman is an extremely gifted athlete. He's very strong, very fast, and a former NCAA champion wrestler. He can truly dominate a fight with his takedowns and his ground and pound. Kevin Randleman, fired up and ready to go. Sokaju making his way to the world famous octagon. Sokaju is an outstanding judo expert with serious power in his punches. Early in his career, he put Hojirio Noguera and Ricardo Arona away with strikes. This is a guy who can end a fight very quickly. Sokaju ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Science, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, Kevin the Monster Randoman. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting out of Temecula, California, the African assassin, Soka And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan, and we are ready for round one. Kevin Randleman, so could you. And here we go. Let's go, come on. Get that hand up. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. So could you is cut open. He's got the double. Good takedown defense. Big right hand. Oh, big combination. Again, the takedown is stuffed. He shoots. Nice sprawl, good takedown defense. He caught the kick. Joe, the big kick, and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. And back to full guard. Side control again. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Back to side control. He ate that one. He's in full guard. He's got side control. Oh! Let's see what he does from here, Joe. And into side control. And again! Oh, that right hand hurt him. Nice punches from the top. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. Into full guard here. 
Side control. Sokajou keeps getting tagged on that cut, and he is bleeding bad, Mike. Transitions to the full mount. Now able to posture up. Half guard. Back to mount. Full mount. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved in there goes back Joe to mount, mount again. Let's look at it again. Look at all the power he gets in this. Let's see it one more time. He just nails him with that. That's a highlight reel knockout right there, Joe. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kevin the Monster Randleman. Kevin Randleman, victorious once again. a heavyweight collision between Bob Sapp and Alistair Overeem. One of the most powerful and feared strikers of all time. Alistair Overeem has held prestigious world titles in both MMA and kickboxing at the same time. Tonight, this gifted athlete will be looking to showcase his infamous striking skills inside the octagon. A mountain of muscle, Bob the Beast Sap is one of the most recognized athletes in the world. Possessing nearly superhuman strength and a relentless attack, his punches and ground and pound can devastate opponents. way to the octagon and he has this crowd fired up. Overeem is a beast. He has a ton of world-class experience, insane power in his strikes, and a wicked standing guillotine choke. He moves extremely well for a man his size and he has a physical advantage over almost any fighter on the planet. Alistair Overeem fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Set to enter the octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. 
Bob Sapp is built like a superhero. He is just a gigantic man with crazy strength. He likes to charge in and attack aggressively, but because of his size, he has a lot of trouble maintaining that pace if it goes into the later rounds. Bob Sapp, ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds, 18.2 stone. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. The Demolition Man, Alistair Overeem. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet five inches tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds. 18.9 stone. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington. Bob the Beast Sam. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Alistair Overeem, Bob Sapp. And here we on, go. And now he's answered. A good right hand counter. Looks like Overeem is cut here, Mike. Nice counter right hand. Single leg. Good sprawl. He's got the clinch. Oh, but he ain't a left hand. Oh, man. Overeem is cut open bad now, Mike. Body shot. Under three minutes now. Over the top of that big right. Keep pressuring him once you get him moving back. Oh, body shot. Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. Go for the single. Go for the single. Again, the takedown is stuffed. He's in guard here. He's in side control here. Big elbows and punches from the top. Oh! Nice, nice. And back to full guard. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Wow, that right hand. And into full mount. Got reversed. Watch for him to grab your leg. Try to scoot his opponent up towards the fence. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Nice right hand. They clinch again. Our first round is in the books. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. You got the 
Yeah. You win this round, you got this fight. Okay, take a couple deep breaths. Look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches. Look, this is the round he's going to break. You hear me? You got to take it to him. You can dump him, control him. He's going up the cage, okay? You got to come back. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. A lot of versatility being shown in that right, round, Mike. Hey, you're never against the cage. You turn him, I want you to kneel and dig him. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Here we go, round two. Come on, let's do it. Trying to punish the midsection. Fast hands, good battle inside. Nice counter. Keep angling, keep angling. Bam, takes him right down. Goes right into side control. Into half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, reversal. And into side control. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Look that wrist control. Beautiful. Back to side control. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Oh, we got reversed. Come down with a good one. Good sprawl. Pressure. Pressure. He's in full guard. Side control. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. And he gets reversed. Relax here. Come on. Relax here. Oh, he gets reversed. Side control. Oh, he connected with an elbow. 90 seconds remains in the second. He ain't that one. Half guard. And now there's also a... He's got the mount. Full mount. This is not good. Keep moving. Oh, that right hand hurt him. But well, he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Oh, he got reversed. Oh! He's got side control. Boom! He's got half guard. And now he is wisely pushing his opponent up against the cage, which is going to take away some of his mobility. It'll definitely take away his ability to move his hips. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on, the, on the cage, okay? Need some more. Bent knees, okay? Get a little bit high. Bent. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Here we see a huge shot landing on the ground. Very interesting round, Mike. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. There's Shandella. Getting set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Go. Round three on, is underway. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, we got tangled the hook. He's hurt badly. He's down. Oh, he's in big trouble here, Mike. Oh, he recovers. Man, this crowd is loving it. Working the crucifix. Excellent combination. Huge left and right. 
Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, big kick. Nice knee to the body. Oh, good counter. Oh, oh. attacked! Right on the button! And he's out! Unbelievable counter punch! And this fight is over! Alistair Overeem with the spectacular finish. And this is the one that does it. Knocks the mouthpiece out and shuts off the lights. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. Boom! And that's all she wrote. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, the Demolition Man, Alistair Overeem! Alistair Overeem, the winner. Let's take a look at tonight's fight of the night. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this fight, and I think it lived up to the hype. Both of these guys showed a lot of heart. This was an excellent fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a rematch down the line. Top to bottom, we had a great night of fights, exciting action, and this is our knockout of the night. Man, I tell you, this has got to be one of the most brutal knockouts we've ever seen here in the UFC. He got caught right on the button and was put to sleep. What an incredible performance here this evening, and I'll tell you what, this guy is a handful for anybody in the division. Joe, we've seen some great jiu-jitsu over our years together. Tonight's submission of the night, one of the best finishes ever. Tonight, the UFC showed why it's the fastest growing sport in the world, as we witnessed some incredible fights. For my partner Joe Rogan and all of us at the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time, we see you right back here inside the Octagon.